I'm about to reveal to you the very location of Satan's throne. The Bible is very specific and it tells us actually exactly where Satan's throne is and where his city is. You know, the Bible says that Satan dwells in a very specific location. The Bible says he actually has a city where he dwells, a place where his throne is, and it's not in hell like you might think. Let me show you what the Bible says about it. Go with me to the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 13. The Bible says, I know you live in the city where Satan has his throne, yet you have remained loyal to me. You refused to deny me, even when Antipas, my faithful witness, was martyred among you in Satan's city. Two aspects here. The Bible says that Satan has a city, and his throne is in that city. But it gives us the specific key to find out where that city is. It's the city where St. Antipas was martyred. Well, did you know the historians have backtracked and found out where St. Antipas was actually martyred? It says here, the traditional account goes on to say that Antipas was martyred during the reign of Nero in years 54 to 68 AD by burning in a brazen, bowl-shaped altar at the Apollyon Temple in Lyon, Geneva, Switzerland. Wow! So the Bible literally says that the city of the devil is Geneva, Switzerland. That's where his throne is. Well, to no coincidence, have you studied what's happening in Geneva, Switzerland right now? Have you ever heard of an organization called CERN? You can even look at their logo and see the mark of the beast on the logo. Their logo is 666 around the word CERN. And, not to mention, the World Economic Forum, the United Nations, and the World Health Organization all have primary bases in Geneva, Switzerland. But it gets even crazier. Did you know that on the campus of Geneva, Switzerland, CERN is actually looking to open a portal into hell? Yes, I'm not exaggerating. They actually are launching particles at each other under the earth looking to split the veil between the natural realm and the supernatural realm. They are looking to literally open a portal to hell. And it gets even crazier. On the campus at CERN, they have a massive statue of the Hindu god Shiva, otherwise known as the destroyer or the demonic version of the triune god what they call Shiva, the destroyer. It's their version of God, but it's twisted, it's demonic. It's the Antichrist system. So there is no coincidence that everything happening in CERN right now and Geneva, Switzerland is all tied in to the last days and what the Bible says about the Antichrist system. This is what we know about the Antichrist. He's looking to bring a one world religion, a one world government, a one world money system, a one world military, and eventually a one world ruler who will be the antichrist or the destroyer i'm telling you right now keep your eyes on switzerland keep your eyes on cern keep your eyes on the devil city and be very weary of what's happening in these last days but i've got good news for you the bible says we are more than conquerors in christ and as long as the church is on the earth the devil has no authority over here Jesus said that he put all power into the church. And behold, all things are underneath our feet. We have authority over all things on the earth by Christ who reigns in us. So keep an eye on what's happening in Geneva.